Well, I asked if y'all wanted to see my England display cabinet that I had built, and a lot of you said you did, so uh, here it is. So I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, if you want to see all the, the videos to what's in the cabinet, just check out my playlist, Digging in Europe, and it has all those playlists, all those uh, videos there. You can watch them when I dug them live. All right. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> seated it is a seated quarter and i just dug my first large scent yes 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 i'm so happy no it's a peace dollar it's a peace dollar that is a breastplate eagle breastplate folks all right this is going to be a cool token man check that out that's just unbelievable look at that guys i have never dug a u.s plate ah you gotta kiss her she's beautiful Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me, that must be good. Well, on one of my posts, I showed you my new uh, England display cabinet that I just uh, saw on Facebook uh, Marketplace and I bought it, went and got, got it, cleaned it up, put a glass shelf in it and I bought some displays and I wanted to highlight uh, the four or five trips, I don't know which hour, I think I've been to England now four four times and got my fifth trip booked for next year. And I want to show you, I asked if you wanted to see some of my finds, you know, kind of commentate on them a little bit more. And so some of you did. So here is the video for that. So check this out. This is the whole cabin and I bought that. That's really nice for $75. I got more uh, display stuff in the bottom I haven't put out yet. But uh, we're going to start, we'll start at the bottom. To me, this is the least, and we'll go to the greatest. I've just got some stuff down here. These are just flat buttons. Uh, you'll dig a lot of flat buttons, but I didn't show them. But uh, these are kind of the livery buttons and different ones that have different uh, um, drawings on them, stuff like that. Different tidbit type of stuff, thimbles, some uh, cool things just miscellaneous stuff and then i've got my pot of copper coins from the 1600s to the 1900s the next thing you'll dig in england will be greenies we call them uh just tons and tons of these big uh copper coins yeah i got some buffalo nickels in the bottom uh a lot of shot a spur rail lead tokens um different lead bell seals i think that's part of a saddle that heart a uh, spindle whorl, uh, keys, um, that's a hat pin, Royal Navy hat pin, I believe. Uh, that is a cutter for like cutting dough in the 1800s. Uh, that's kind of like that, uh, a row, but it's not. Some different tidbit things. And then I wanted to highlight a few of these coins. There's a Queen Victoria uh, half penny. You'll dig a lot of those. You'll dig a lot of King George's. Uh, these are all just uh, common things. It's like down in that pot below. King George II. And then King William III, 1699. This is one of my better finds. This is a Charles I French Jetton. It looks kind of like a greenie. It is a greenie. It's copper. But it's really neat. Uh, those are more rare. I don't dig many of those. Some different toys that we uh, I've dug. Some uh, A Jewish dreidel. If I can get my thing to stay in focus. A spinner and a toy cannon. These are really neat. These are the half pennies, a Middlesex half penny. That's a, a Thomas Hardy Middlesex half penny. That's a Norwich Tradesman's. Con these are all what they call Condor tokens. And they're more local tokens that they use for trade. And uh, I'm glad I got those. I got a King George, the cartwheel penny, a very big coin, very thick. And I'm not sure what these two are. They're just big coins I wanted to put out. I like these love tokens. These are King George II. That's King George behind you back there. Love tokens. You'll dig a lot of hammered copper coins. This is one of my better finds here, this medieval trader's ring. If I can get my, it won't stay in focus. Too many things to focus on. That's 1425. 
And then just a, a bronze ring from the 1800s. Here are my Roman coins. That is a Domitian on the top. That's a silver one. If I can get it there. And a couple of more. Constantine II on the bottom. A very large copper coin in the back. These are kind of two medium coins here. That's from the 300s, the 100s, and you can see there, 90, 95, 200s, 300s on those. And then we move up to, from copper to silver. These are silver milled coins on this side. And my oldest one here, I believe, is going to be this 1696 King William III shilling. I've got King Edward VII, 1909. Oh, King Edward V there in the back. I've got uh, uh, one from Germany back here. I've got some Queen Elizabeth four pences and six pences there in the back. I even got a King Louis the 15th, 44 saws there. And then we got King George III, two sixpences, two 18, 16 sixpences. And this is what you really want when you go to England. You want to dig silvers, but you don't want the milled silvers. We're really digging these over here. These are the hammered. There's, I dug that this past March. That's the King Henry VII, hammered half groat. That's really a neat coin. See his head there. And then we got uh, a commonwealth when England didn't have a king or a queen ruling. We got, you'll dig a lot of these. These are the King Edwards hammered pennies from 1270 to 1344. A lot of those. Here's a couple of pieces, just one piece of meal and a hammered. And then you'll dig a lot of Queen Elizabeth too. There's Queen Elizabeth there in the back, 1580. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on her. There's one over here from the 1600s. Then I dug a real small one back this fall, I mean this March, 1582 to 1584, a little hammered penny there. These are what you like to dig. I've kind of got the pictures of the kings and queens there in the back. And uh, But that's not all of my hammers. I've got the best finds I've dug in England so far are these right here. I've got 10 coins still in the British Museum going through the, uh, the treasure process. And here's four over here. These are Charles the Bold the, on the top left. And then the King Henry VII, four pence, a King Henry VII Groat, and a King Edward. And so that Charles the Bold, the one over here is a French coin. Uh, that's still at the British Museum. I probably will get those back. That was a little a coin spill. I dug all four of those within maybe two or three feet of each other. And then my prize possession, an American digger did a write-up on it. The biggest uh, magazine in England did a write-up on it. It was really good. I found these coins right here. These are the King Edward the Confessor's Hammered Hoard. These are six pennies that I have found. Let me get that uh, light glare out of the way. And uh, that was the first one I dug right there. And then six. And then about a, a, close to a year later, one more was found by the host that we went there to England. Um, I know a, a museum is wanting to acquire these. I'm not going to get those. These were kind of rare. First time they've ever been found in that part of England. Uh, they are found there all within 20 feet of each other, plus some other silver coins there. But uh, those are from 1,050 to 1,053. And you get a close-up right there of the first one I dug. And so that's a Saxon coin. That's what you want to dig of those Saxon coins. Here's a picture of King Edward, the Confessor. Uh, the reason why these coins were um, so important, one, it was the first time they'd been found in that area of England. Second, they were found in a hoard. There was uh, six of them there, actually seven. Uh, thirdly, they, they, they all have a different mint. 
Uh, two of these have the same mint, but there's five different mints, and there was a seventh coin with a six different mint found. So they all had different mints. It's like this was a collection. And another reason why they're, they look at the shape. They're in just impeccable shape. And, um, and so I'm not going to get these back, I don't think. I think the museum is going to buy them. That's, they, they, they've kind of hinted that to me so far. They know that one, not the British Museum, but the local museum, the Shropshire Museum, is interested in these. But we'll see uh, what they're going to offer for them. And so there are my England finds. I've made four trips. And uh, I really enjoy going to England because you dig so much old stuff. And so if you ever get a chance to go to England, hook up uh, with a group and get over there. I go to Colchester Hunting Club is where I go every year. And I've been on the other side of the island too with metal detecting holidays, but I don't think they're doing tours anymore. But um, it's a lot of fun when you get a lot of buddies together and get over there. And so we got a plan, another a trip planned for October. We're gonna, instead of going in the, in the spring, we're moving our trip to the fall next year. And so it's my trip I look forward to every year. So there's my England finds. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, you ever get a chance, come over there and dig with us. Until then, God bless.